so here I have my uh, new project. Uh, it's a power monitor. So what I have is a board, which has a couple of components. Uh, it has uh, two sensors. Mm, the two sensors are the voltage sensor, which is basically a transformer over here. And it is sens sens sensing the direct AC. And there is a current sensor, which is over here and it is a bunch of um, a DAC, a, um, a programmable uh, gain amplifier, uh, one uh, dual voltage uh, amplifier, uh, some more amplifier, a DSP, one EEPROM over here and some regulators and there is a serial connector and also one Raspberry Pi for the IoT purpose. Uh, so uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, so it has one LCD display and it shows RMS calculation of the voltage, the current, frequency, power factor and the power in watts. So if I turn off the voltage for example, uh, it, it prints some garbage. In other words, uh, it is not sensing properly. If I switch it on and then it measures the, uh, the mains voltage over here. In India, it's 240 volts. Uh, for current sensing, I'm using this sensor. Uh, and uh, for calibration purpose, I'm using this transformer. Uh, all the windings removed. And I have put a thick uh, wire of six turns. And it's connected to an auto transformer. So if I vary the voltage, I can see uh, what is the current. So I can go up to about 20 amps using this setup. And at the same time, you can see that the current is going, uh, you know, uh, 6.17, 6.22. Yeah, there is a slight issue with the calibration. Mm, so 9 amps, it's 9.04 over here. And it's also changing the uh, power. In other words, it's a phantom load that I have created over here. Now, uh, what it also does is, so if I change the voltage and it, measures the current and the same thing the the lowest current that i can see is 0.75 because this auto transformer doesn't generate zero volts so a yes, minute voltage is applied and that translates to about 0.7 volts minimum and it also comes to about 174 watts uh, now um, so this is about the overall setup uh, this LCD display is not the primary thing that I'll be using uh, later on I'll just uh, hide it or I'll disable the LCD but there is a, a USB uh, to serial converter and this is connected to a Raspberry Pi and it is uh, in turn it is uh, putting the display on to uh, the readings are being pumped to one uh, website so in the website as you can see uh, it it records this um, voltage which is 243 or 244 volts current is also some value that we see around and uh, some other things like frequency power and the other capture of power factor Okay, so earlier it was not recording, uh, so I have uh, run the um, the Python script from uh, which is putting the uh, value into the uh, this website, and as and when it is putting the value, at present it is measuring about 0.75 amps and 240 volts, and about 117 uh, or 175 watts. Mm, uh, the same thing is being displayed over here so current is 0.74 and the power is also 175 so uh, now let me just increase the cur current to about 2 amps yeah so I have set the current to about 2 amps and here also it's showing 2 amps 2.11 and as you can see uh, here also the current has gone up to about 2 amps Ooh, some error is there mm, but I think I have to still uh, check the script but uh, overall it's 
I think some calibration and other parts are needed. Oh, okay, hold on. Now it went back to 2 amps. So while setting 2 amps, actually I went to 3 amps and then it came to 2 amps. So that's what is appearing now. Henceforth it will be showing still 2 amps. And accordingly the power also went to 495 watts and yeah, in between it just jumped to 700 watts. So uh, the data is pumped every uh, 15 seconds and as you can see it's showing 15 every 15 seconds this data is populated i have set to 7 amps now here also it's showing 7 amps and very soon here also it will show a 7 amps pop up yeah as you can see it's showing uh, 7.09 and 1547 watts power factor is always unity and the frequency is more or less 50 hertz uh, the grid is pretty stable in india voltage also fluctuates between 242 and 243 so uh, what i'm planning to do is in future uh, i'll connect it uh, to i'll remove this from here since it's already calibrated uh, well before the actual uh, this setup runs um, uh, before the setup runs there is a calibration uh, that I have already done and the calibration for the voltage in the current sensors are stored in the EEPROM the EEPROM over here um, and the same values are used during the runtime so calibration is already taken care and these values will uh, keep on uh, putting into the website this website is uh, thingspeak uh, I will do some more uh, IOT stuff based on on what I want to do like if the value is going too high like when I'm running my water heater then it can give a, a Twitter message which I can send over mobile and somebody can go and turn it off so the final setup will have this LCD removed only I'll have this board and I'll have this Raspberry Pi which will do the IOT stuff plus I can also do some bootloader um, uh, to program this DSP over this and this is connected to my house Wi-Fi so uh, it's everything is um, properly taken care so yeah this is my uh, new project thanks for watching